Welcome to Lesson 5 of Machine Sewing for Beginners. In this lesson, you will be sewing a straight stitch and pivot turns on fabric with a threaded machine. To practice this, you will need a sewing machine, thread, an empty bobbin, several 5-inch square pieces of cotton woven fabric, sewing shears, a seam gauge, and a copy of the Lesson 5 instruction sheet, which is optional. The instruction and practice sheets for this series can be purchased and downloaded online from the Calico Jam shop. For a link to the shop, please see the video description. It's time to thread our sewing machines. Since we are most likely using different machines, use your instruction manual or search for an instructional video for threading your particular model. I have included links to some video tutorials for threading some of the more common sewing machine models in the description for this video. Please pause this video and join me again once your sewing machine is threaded. Now that our machines are threaded, it is very important to remember and apply the three tips we have learned to avoid jamming your machine. Without turning it now, remember the proper direction to turn the hand wheel is toward you. Before removing your project from the sewing machine, make sure your thread take-up lever is at the top. Remember, if it is anywhere else, it is still working on a stitch. And be sure you have fabric underneath and the presser foot down before you sew with the foot pedal or the hand wheel. Before we sew, make sure that the top thread, which goes through the eye of the needle, is going down through and under the presser foot and lays to the back of the machine. The bobbin thread should come right up out of the opening under the presser foot and lay under the presser foot to the back of the machine. So both threads are under the presser foot with the thread tails lying to the back. If you grab the two thread tails and pull on them, they should pull fairly easily with just a little bit of tension. If they are stuck and are not pulling freely, that is an indication that your machine is not threaded properly. I always check this when I rethread my machine. Let's do some test sewing on one of the fabric squares before we begin the lesson. Place the fabric under the presser foot by sliding it in from the side or the front. This way the threads will be more likely to stay at the back. If I were to slide the fabric in from the back, these threads would get pushed toward the front. Once the fabric is under the presser foot and the thread tails are to the back, gently lower your presser foot. Sew forward slowly using your foot pedal. You can practice some pivot turns by putting the needle down in the fabric, lifting your presser foot, turning the fabric, lowering your presser foot again, and then sewing forward. You can also practice your back stitch by engaging the reverse lever to sew backward, then releasing it to sew forward again. Once you are done practicing, remember to turn the hand wheel so the top of the wheel moves toward you until the thread take-up lever is at the top so the machine can complete forming the last stitch. Now lift up your presser foot and gently pull your fabric out to the left side of the machine. Be sure to leave at least a 4 to 5 inch tail attached to the machine when you cut the threads. Now trim the remaining threads on your project closer to your fabric. I lay the fabric flat and trim them close by laying the scissors on their side while I cut. Be careful not to cut so close that you cut your fabric. Pause the video here if you would like to practice more before beginning the lesson assignment. 
For this lesson, we will be sewing one half inch away all around the edge of a five inch square piece of fabric, doing proper pivot turns at each corner. Remember to backstitch three or four stitches when you begin and end so your stitching does not pull out. So far, we have been following a line that is printed on a piece of paper. Most often, sewing instructions will have you sew a certain distance from the edge of a piece of fabric. In this case, one half inch away from the edge. If you look at the throat plate on your sewing machine, you will notice there are lines on it. These are guides to help you sew a certain distance from the edge of the fabric. See if you can find a line on the right-hand side of the needle on your machine labeled one half inch. Some machines do not have the lines labeled and you may need to measure with a ruler. You can measure from the needle to find the line that is one half inch away. I have placed some painter's tape along the half inch line on my sewing machine so it's easier to see. Place the fabric under the presser foot and keep the right edge of the fabric just barely touching the half inch line, or in my case, the edge of the tape. Gently lower the presser foot. Instead of watching the center mark in the front of the presser foot like we did on the practice papers, Keep your eye on the edge of the fabric right here and make sure it is staying lined up with the correct line. To secure your stitching, engage the reverse lever and sew three or four stitches backward. Now, slowly sew forward, making sure the edge of your fabric stays lined up properly as you go. As on the pivot turn practice sheet, Take your foot off the foot pedal a little before the first corner and switch to using the hand wheel, being sure to only turn it toward you. We do not have a line to help us know where to turn, so we must use the half inch mark on the throat plate. Stop a little early, put the needle down, lift the presser foot and try a pivot turn. This seam allowance is a little wide so we need to sew a bit farther before making the turn. Leaving the needle down, turn the fabric back, lower the presser foot, and with the hand wheel make another stitch or two. Try the turn again. When it is lined up properly with the half inch mark, put the presser foot down and continue on to the next corner, carefully watching the edge of the fabric to keep it lined up with the half inch mark. Repeat instructions and sew all around. If you overshoot a corner, engage your reverse lever to sew backward and try again. Now that we are back where we started, backstitch three or four stitches using your reverse lever to secure your stitching. Make sure your thread take up lever is at the top. Lift your presser foot and pull the fabric out to the left. Trim your threads being sure to leave a four to five inch tail attached to the machine and trimming the extra threads close to your project. Using your seam gauge or ruler, measure the distance between the edge of your fabric and your stitching line. Keep practicing until your stitching measures one half inch from the edge of the fabric and you have made good pivot turns. If you are in a class, be sure to put your name on your instruction sheet, staple your best sewing project to it, and turn it in to your instructor. Then join me next time for Lesson 6, Sewing a Seam.